was the Enchanted Highway of North Dakota. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You said that um, the first one was the, the family? The, the first sculpture the they family. ever put there, yeah, was the family one. And all the, all the supplies for the sculptures were donated by local farmers. So it's pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of surprising. It's just this backcountry road that really we saw maybe three cars on. Yeah, so we're in the town of Medora, which we're going to go explore now, but it's super cool. Uh, it's just a really cool town, a lot of touristy stuff, but it's it's pretty cool. Did I say it's cool? Yeah, three or four times now. <laughs> Shut up, Richard. Tomorrow we're going to go into the Theodore Roosevelt National Park and take the highway north in there. I'm hoping to see some wild horses, because some people have seen wild horses and buffalo, so... Uh, it goes through the badlands of North Dakota, so... Um, we'll see how bad they are. Yeah, bad to the bone. All right, let's check this town out. Shooting gallery, you're going down. <laughs> you're ready to shoot! Painted Hills Scenic Overlook, just outside of Madura. Yeah. Um, it's part of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park, which we're headed to the south unit of today. This is also a rest stop, so it's right off the freeway. It's a rest stop, plus it's part of the national park. It's really an interesting place. I've not seen anything yeah, like it's, that Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's a, about a mile loop trail that goes down through there. It's, it's a nice little morning jaunt. Yeah, so... We could have stayed in a campground uh, just outside of Maduro last night, but it was just a dry, primitive site, real dusty, for 19 bucks. So we drove like four miles to this spot, and it was perfect. Now check out this footage from last night. It's just beautiful here. Yeah, pretty cool. Badlands of North Dakota. Next stop, Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Off we go. Park named after a person. Is that what you said? Yes. Interesting. I did not know that. 
Uh, there's supposedly a lot of bison that roam through here. You can get pretty close to them. And then wild horses. People have seen all kinds of wildlife in here. So I'm pretty pumped about that because I love the animals. be sticking his tongue out. So we are now inside the actual cabin that Teddy Roosevelt lived in. And it's right behind the visitor center, which you gotta come check out the visitor center here, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. The traveling trunk, authentic, in the corner of Theodore Roosevelt's bedroom, accompanied him as he set off to mend a broken and grieving heart. On February 14th, 1884, at the age of 25, Roosevelt witnessed the deaths of the two most important women in his life, his wife, Alice, and his mother, Minnie. Wow. The following spring, leaving his infant daughter in the care of his sister, Roosevelt left New York with all of its memories and familiarities. He traveled west to this, to his recently built cabin on the Maltese Cross Ranch, seven miles south of Medora. 
the cabin authentic was moved here in 1959. Oh, I see. Wow, little slice of history right here. The conservationist president, that's yeah. what he's known as. Uh -huh. Like a hundred, set aside like 150 national forests, a bunch of national parks, all kinds of, I don't know, it's... Yeah, it's amazing where, where what he did. Where would it be without his vision? Yeah. Well, I guess it's time to see the other side of North Dakota. The flat side? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We might put some miles in. We might, yeah. Good morning. We ended up driving quite a long ways last yesterday. It's a whole record, like 250 miles. We did. Sorry, Just it's farmland. a little windy out here. Um, farmland, 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 all through... Uh, Bismarck, North Dakota. So, so we were on the freeway, which is kind of unusual for us. I think we're kind of just motoring towards the Great Lakes now. So we did put some miles in. We are in the town of Medina. We stopped here last night. Oh, it's Medina. <laughs> Medina, North Dakota. We actually stopped several places for like 70 miles. We kept checking little spots out and none of them panned out. Some of them yeah. used to be places you could free dispersed camp and now it's posted no camping so <clears throat> anyway we wound up at the city park a little quiet campground in Medina $15 for a hookup water dump site showers nice quiet grassy yeah playground there's a playground <laughs> <laughs> Irene loves a good playground <laughs> I do all right I'm gonna unplug it's time to check out all right Let's head. We'll be in Missouri. Is it? No. <laughs> it's a state that starts with the M. We're gonna is be, the next one. We're going to be in Minnesota. Minnesota. Maybe today. It depends on what we see. Yeah. You know, we, we, you know, people that follow us know we don't usually go very far, but that's not because we don't. It's not because that's a rule. It's just we just stop when we want to. And yeah. So if it's just farmland, it's seen to drive through, but there's nothing to really do. So. Yeah. Just keep going until we find a place to stay. Man, it's windy. I'm really sorry about that. That's been a loud. Yeah. Is that a, they have like big tornadoes out here, don't they? They do. Actually, this is the first place I've ever stayed in a spot. There's a sign up here when you check in. It says if you hear the siren or something, you walk a couple blocks up and there's a, a shelter. shelter. It's the first time I've been in an area where that sign has been necessary. Let's get out of here, Scoob. <laughs> I was just all night wondering, am I going to hear a siren? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's Ca go. Catch you in Minnesota.